I had a very big conflict going on inside of me, and and my friend took me to his um, his uh, uh, um, textual critic uh, uh, teacher, his professor, and what this man told me probably wrecked my faith in Christianity. And I, I, I always say I doubt he would be very happy uh, me traveling around the world telling people that a, a, a Christian professor from Bob Jones University wrecked my faith in Christianity. Um, but he did. Because what I asked him was what happened to all these contradictions. You know, in the, in the Old Testament there are many contradictions. If you study Hebrew language you'll understand that when you read some of the Old Testament or the Torah that there are some parts of the Torah that you can see is the most beautiful Arabic that you can see. Just I mean, the most beautiful Hebrew that you can see just like when you read Air, uh, uh, the Quran. It's very beautiful Hebrew. And then two chapters later you'll see Hebrew that looks like a broken three-year-old who is, is trying to scribble some Hebrew down. It looks very colloquial, very dialectic. You can tell it's not the same person speaking. So I started to, I went and asked him about all this stuff I saw. <clears throat> and he told me, he said, um, what you have is a book written by men over centuries and centuries and eons and eons. And he says, and this book started as an original that was copied and copied and copied and somebody added a mistake and somebody came behind him and corrected that mistake and added two of his own. Someone came and copied it and skipped the line and added a line where it wasn't supposed to be. And then someone else came and copied it and took it to his country and in order for it to uh, fit well with the doctrine they were teaching, he would cross out a dot here or, or cross out a word here or change a word here so that it would fit with, the, with the, the theological ideas of this part of the world. And he said, and after all these years, you have a book now that is compiled from all of this written by the hands of men that still have men's fingerprints left on it. And that's what you have. You have an imperfect book that is only perfected through faith. This is exactly what he told me, that this book is perfected through faith. You cannot perfect it textually. It's not a textually perfect book. Those who believe in it, believe in it by faith. And so I said, here we go again with this faith thing. You know, I said, God gave me a brain for a reason. Uh, if he did not want me to use it, he would remove this reason and logic, part of my brain out and replace it with more faith. So, you know, and I was of the opinion, though, you know, as the saying goes, my, my grandmother didn't raise a fool. I'm no fool. I, you know, I said, I can't, I can't believe in this. You know, I mean, this, this book I've been taught is the inerrant word of God, and you're just telling me that it's a book of errors that's only perfect through faith. That's like me taking... Uh, a 1982 dots and all beat up and saying, say, if you believe, it's a really, it can be a Mercedes. If you believe. You know, that, that would make no sense. You can't take a car to the car dealership and say that. No, no, if you really believe it, if you look at it right, it's a Mercedes. So I said, no, you know, this, this is a, 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 a book full of errors. And God's religion is perfect. If God has a religion, it's perfect. If he has a book, it has to be perfect because he is perfect. So I left Christianity completely. 